Hello, everyone. I'm very glad to speak in this online meeting. My name is Jiao Xiaojuan. I'm a reactor engineer from Funkway, China. Here, I will introduce reactor application in overrunning alternator poly design and simulation. This study is mainly completed by Professor Liu Yi and Mr. Zhang Xinqun. Professor Liu comes from Changzhou Vocational Institute of Mechatronic Technology. Mr. Zhang comes from Jiangsu Nanfang Bearing Company. I just provide some help when they use Raptan software. It's my honor to talk their presentation instead of them. The main contents are as follows. The background of overrunning alternator poly, including the technical principles and the structure. The CAE analysis items for the whole project. Rectan virtual prototype, model validation, Rectan simulation results, and the conclusion. In order to simplify the name of a running alternator poly and the front and the accessory drive system, we use OAP and the FEAD separately. As everybody knows, automobile engine working cycle consists of intake stroke, compression stroke, work stroke, and the exhaust stroke. Engine crankshaft speed fluctuation up and down during fuel, combustion, and the gas compression. And uh, this speed fluctuation is transmitted to generator through belt drive system. As a result, belt tension becomes higher, poly travel distance becomes larger, and the belt vibration becomes abnormal and the NVH problems grows very serious. So many engineering trouble occur, it needs a fast solution to solve the problems. In order to control the speed fluctuation of generator, the most important to decouple the influence of Crankshaft speed fluctuation on generator shaft. In FEAD system, the moment of initial of generator is the largest one, and the generator speed is 2.5 to 3 times the engine speed. It can't be ignored that the generator power index will be greater and greater day by day. OAP is designed to solve the problems caused by engine speed fluctuation. Nowadays, OAP is widely used in automobile generator because of the effect in decreasing the vibration of front gear chain. Service life of gear chain is improved with the help of OAP. First, let's see the structure of OAP. From the view of function, OAP is a one-way pulley. It uh, consists of pulley, roller of rain clutch, and uh, sealed ball bearing. And the uh, overring clutch is made up of strong cup, shaft, needle, cage, and spring. OAP pulley is divided into outer ring and the inner ring. The inner ring is connected with the generator. During operation, if the generator speed is greater than the outer ring speed, the pulley will slip immediately, and the inner ring will be separated with the outer ring. The needle on both sides supports the radial loads. The red picture shows the torque transfer path. 
the torque is transferred from pulley to drum cup, then to shaft, cage, jeweler, and springs. From its function, OEP is not only similar to a clutch, but also is similar to a ball bearing. The features of OEP include the transfer torque, or ring decoupling, seal, precision support, and so on. The red down picture shows the generator shaft speed fluctuation with overrunning decoupling. We can see the generator shaft speed fluctuation is much less than the engine speed fluctuation. With the help of OEP, belt tension vibration can be reduced. Pulley travel distance can be decreased. The belt life and the FEAD system life can be improved. The NVH performance can be better. In the process of research, 3D design software, FEA software, and the multi-body dynamic software are used. Many types of design simulation and optimization are carried out. For example, spring life, contact stress, titan torque are simulated to find the optimal value. Multi-body dynamic simulation based on Rexan is one of the important simulation contents. This presentation will focus on it. Here, just list some FEA and durability analysis results simply, such as vermicide stress, pressure, contact stress, ultimate talk, life, and so on. Next, let's see the OAP virtual prototype based on Rectum as the red picture. The purpose of OEP dynamic simulation based on Rectum is to study the movement of needles, the contact force between needles and the inner ring or outer ring, the wet time at a different rotation speed. OAP Simulation model has two ball bearings on the left and the right sides. The outer ring of bearing is fixed with pulley. The inner ring of bearing is fixed with the shaft. The contact between cage and shaft, between needle and the inner ring, between needle and the outer ring, between needle and cage are defined in the model. The friction between cage and shaft is considered in the simulation model. In OAP model, the spring parts between cage and needles are modeled as spring force with preload, as the red picture shown. When spring is in tension, no spring force. In other words, the value of spring force is zero. When it is in compression process, the spring force is not zero. In Rectum, the stiffness of spring force can be set as spline to expression such spring character. Besides OAP rectum model, rectum simulation model also include the belt, tensioner, and the driving wheel. These are created by rectum belt subsystem in order to simulate the resistance effect from generator torque. A rotational actual force is applied on the shaft opposite to the driving direction. On the revolution joint of driving wheel, a speed motion is defined. In the model, 
Gravity is said as navigate y direction. Before simulation, model validation is necessary. Rapid speed change test and endurance test are carried out. Test equipment are imported from France. The valued stand needs 1,000 hours, and uh, the picture shows the loading curve in durability test. The generator shaft speed from rapid simulation is com compared with the test date for different pulley speed fluctuation. The purple curve is simulation results, and the blue one is the test result. From the comparison, we can see rapid simulation match well with the test result in time domain. The mean deviation between test and simulation is less than 2%, and the frequency domain results also match well each other. So we can see vector simulation model is a valid model. Through vector simulation, we can get the relation between wedging time and the shaft speed and the police speed. We can identify this engagement response time, this engagement time, engagement response time, and the engagement time. From the results of different rotation speed, it is clear that the wet time is different. When the speed is increased, the wet time is decreased. We also can find the relation between friction and the wedge time. Impact force is also as direct output to Fuzzy studies the relation between max impact force and the friction coefficient. The results show that the max impact force is different for different speed. The impact force increases with the increase of speed. In the stable operation stage, the contact force between needle and shaft is almost the same with the contact force between needle and the outer ring. The initial effect of component has little influence on the contact force. The simulation result of OEP display its decoupling function. This animation is the OEP dynamic simulation result by Rectum. We can see the movement of each march. We also can see the relation motion between parts clearly. If needed, Rectum also can show the force icon in animation. In the end, let's summarize it briefly. First, Rectum is a useful tool to simulate OAP dynamic characteristics. Second, for OAP, the wet time decreases with the increase of friction between catch and shaft. And the wet time changes obviously in some range of friction. Then, the max contact force is almost four times of stable contact force. Reducing Friction can reduce impact force. The stiffness and the preload of spring has influence on the wedge characteristics. 
Okay, that's all. Thanks for your attention and I wish you happy.